projects on display ranged from arts to electronics. This group developed a smartphone app that can turn on a toaster. Its young developers said they want to expand the idea in the future. It doesn't just have to be、um, a toaster. It can be like AC or、um, stuff like that.、Um, so that way, let's say you're driving home from work. While you're on your car, you you press the button on your phone, and then your AC turns on. I think it is excellent that you know、uh, we give the kids a chance to really think about you know what's possible, and then help them use their hands to actually get things working. Usually, we see kids you know they watch TV, they learn,、um, and then you know, they read from books, but it's never like when they actually have to do it. Another family showed how to transfer photos to canvas with their hands. They use a gel to apply a photo to the canvas, and after rubbing for some time, the work is done. It's a good feeling once you're finished. You you're not just pasting it onto. You're actually molding the finished product. I actually think it's quite cool how you can transfer a picture onto a canvas just with gel and rubbing. It feels different. The texture is a bit more rough. Organizers say they hope the fair can encourage students to be innovative. They did totally on their own, and it came from the idea that creating is important, and that you know sharing and and seeing what others can do can be inspirational. This was the second year the fair was held in Shanghai. Organizers say they plan to hold more regular events for students in the future. Yuan Chengyue, ICS for CCTV, Shanghai.